controlling Ableton Live with the MPC-2000. I'm going to be sequencing Ableton Live with the MPC-2000 and tracking the beat back into Ableton when I'm done sequencing. As a bonus, I'm also going to be showing how to take the same MPC sequence from your floppy disk and load it into Ableton. And yes, I did say loading MPC floppy disks in Ableton. I won't be using any of the sounds inside the MPC, effectively using Ableton Live as a sound module. If they're not already connected, make sure your MIDI cables are plugged in correctly. Run two cables, one from the MIDI out of the MPC to the MIDI in of your interface, and one from the MIDI in of the MPC to the MIDI out of your interface. Enter the MIDI sync menu on the MPC and set the mode to MIDI clock on both channels and turn MMC to on. Go into the MIDI and Link Preferences in Ableton and make sure MIDI and Sync are on on both channels of your interface. Starting from a new session, I'm going to pull up a drum rack and delete the default tracks. I'm going to set the MIDI from to my interface, the M4, and the MIDI channel to 1. On the MPC, I'm going to set my tempo and set my sequencer track to MIDI channel 1 also. Another thing I'm going to do is load a chromatic program on the MPC. This puts all the pads in order chromatically just like a keyboard and it makes it easier to integrate with Ableton. I've already set up two chromatic programs you can find on the boot disk that I made for the MPC-2000. These load up with the OS, so all you have to do is switch over in the program menu. One starts at MIDI note 35, which is the lowest note on the MPC, and the other one starts at 36, which is where most drum racks start. Either one is fine, I'm going to use 35. Let's verify that we're locked in with Ableton and record a sequence. Now I'll move to track 2 on the MPC and select MIDI channel 2. I'm going to pull up another instrument in Ableton Live and set the MIDI from to the M4 and the channel to 2. Let's go ahead and play the sequencer. Nothing is playing so we have to set the monitor as in to hear the tracks. Let's record another sequence and repeat the process. Now we need to track out the beat. I'm going to create an audio track and set the audio from input to the first channel, our drum rack. I'm going to set the tempo in Ableton to match my beat on the MPC. Now I'm going to hit record to create our loop. If you want, you can monitor and isolate each track, but the only one recording right now is our drum rack. One thing about this process is the recording will have a little bit of latency at the front, so I'm going to clean that up after recording and zoom in to 1 256 to take a little off. And I'm also going to add a little bit at the end of the loop. I'm going to turn off the monitor on the MIDI track so that we don't get any audio phasing. Now repeat this process for all of your tracks to finish your beat. As a bonus for the hardcore MPC users, you don't have to track out your beat like that if you load the MIDI file from the MPC onto Ableton. I'm going to load my file from a floppy disk, but maybe you have a compact flash card or SD. Simply drag and drop the file onto the same Ableton instruments for my beats and they lock in automatically. Set the track monitors to auto and turn on the tracks. It's the same beat from the MPC.